All right, welcome back to another gig log. We're here about almost eight o'clock in the morning, and we got a little unique one here. We are setting up at a car show. So the display cars are rolling in, and behind me you can see that we're setting up in a old 1920s band shell here. So sound carries pretty well. We'll use our Meyer Ultras and probably one dual 18 sub for in here. Uh, the music is meant to be contained uh, in the band shell, uh, except for announcements. Uh, I'll pan around and show more of the area um, that we're gonna cover here. So we're gonna go ahead and get set up. We have uh, two acts today. We have an acoustic act starting off, and then we have a full band. So here's a little bit of the audience area. As you can see, it's uh, kind of typical of these old band shells. Nice and undercover though. Uh, we're not supposed to have any bad weather until later in the day after this event is over. It's gonna end around 3 p.m. But let's go ahead and take a look at what we got for the stage here. So it is a, a church park, uh, but as we're walking through, you can see old dome that carries sound and we've got a big area over here that we're actually going to set up a side fill for to cover for for announcements and maybe some background music as we go through you know sometimes when you show up at events you're not exactly sure what kind of terrain you're going to have to pass there could be muddy grass or some swampy areas that you have to span so i always keep a couple sheets of these pieces of plywood here in the trailer just in case. In this example here we have a bunch of pea gravel that we'd have to cross and going over through this with the wheels is just a nightmare. But uh, this little span of plywood saves the day. All right, take you through a little bit of the stage setup here. We're still uh, getting everything uh, straightened up, but for the most part we're running four monitors. We'll see where the band ends up when uh, everybody gets here. But we have the uh, Meyer X40s up on the stage here. We have one subwoofer down at the bottom here, which should cover this area pretty nice, I'm thinking. And then if we walk just a little bit around the corner here, we have our little side fill, which covers the, uh, the grounds here. So it's mostly for announcements and then the break music. I have it set up on a matrix, so the main band is only going to be coming here at the band shell. Uh, but break music and announcements will go through that side fill. So we have a little bit of time before the first act goes on. We're just playing background music now, but uh, go for a quick little walk across the car show since I usually don't get an opportunity to do any walking around at all at events. Now, I'll be honest, I know virtually nothing about cars, so I love antique cars, like, but I know nothing about them. So it's fun seeing people that are enthusiasts and you know, especially the really old cars, like the, uh, the ones from the 20s and 30s are always fun to look at.
So one of the nice parts about uh, modern sound equipment technology is that the efficiency of just the amps, Class D amps, and having everything built into the devices. I'm actually running the entire system today. So the two mains, the Ultra X40s, the uh, subwoofer, which you might be able to see behind me, there it is. All off of two 20 amp circuits, which is pretty wild. So that's four wedges, that's the mixer, the whole rack there, and uh, the front of house, plus any back line, uh, which there'll be two amps, two guitar amps, a bass amp for back line today. And two circuits are able to handle it all. It's a great time to be in audio. And your second question is, what is your favorite classic car or vintage bike? Hands down, 1947 Knucklehead EL Special. <laughs> Two down, all the way, baby. She knows what she's talking about. <laughs> and whoop, that is our last contestant. These are our six lovely ladies that you have. Okay, coming in second place is a cash prize of $100. Bliss. So we all know who number one is. Congratulations. Thank you all. I hope you had a good time. Ladies, thank you so much. Congratulations. You're welcome. Just finished packing up the trailer after the gig here. All hot and sweaty as I'm sure you can see here in the video. Uh, the stage is all nice and cleaned off and we're ready to pull out of here. Enjoy the rest of our day or get some sleep. I don't know, whichever comes first. But uh, just a couple notes on the gig. Um, it's a fun time. Car shows are their, their own entity. So a lot of fun people, a lot of interesting things going on. Uh, tried to get some of that on video for you. Also, we had uh, an award ceremony at the end. That went really well. The band itself was awesome. Um, very loud. Um, with these kind of dome-shaped old uh, amphitheaters, uh, it has a tendency of, I mean, they were built before electrification of instruments, so they're really meant to be amplifiers themselves and a lot of times what happens is you run into issues with monitoring because sounds echoing all over the place or what happened today is they were a loud band to begin with and great band loud band and we just had to bring everything up to the levels that were presented uh, there was no turning down because it was the drums that were setting setting the pace and it wasn't even Really the drummer's fault, it was just that dome behind him amplifying everything and unfortunately, and you can see behind me, um, not sure how the camera angle looks, but there's not a whole bunch of depth and in the dome itself is is a riser or several risers that are meant for you know, more like a or orchestra or uh, you know, old uh, like city bands and, and things like that. But so it was a little challenging, it was loud, but uh, it was good. We got everything balanced and we got lots of compliments. The band was happy. They could hear everything up here on the stage. Organizers were happy and I had multiple people coming up and, and saying that the sound was great. So I always take that as a nice pat on the back. Always like hearing those, those types of compliments. 
So with that, we'll end this gig log. So I'm enjoying making this content as I go along here in my everyday uh, sound gig life. Again, life in the day in the life of a small operator. I hope you like these videos and if you do, please like and subscribe and leave your comments and questions below. I appreciate it. Till the next one.